have a lovely two-year-old golden retriever. She's full of energy, so she gets a lot of walks. I try to be a responsible dog owner. I always pick up her poo, even if it's nowhere near other people's homes. My wife and I brought the dog along to visit friends in an East Coast, Florida, barrier island beach community. Nice, quaint, nothing fancy. Okay? We walked the dog, and naturally the dog pooped. My wife had a bag, picked up the poop. We walked on. About four to five houses down, there was a large standard community-issued garbage can at the end of the road. The lid was half up as it was quite full and ready for pickup. My wife deposited the tied closed bag o poo into the can. My ass would do this 100%. I would acknowledge is probably not the right thing to do, but I would do it for sure. I mean, I feel like it's one of those things that's like, you shouldn't do it, but who the hell cares? A man mowing his lawn at the house next door went off. He ran over, yelled at my wife, you're disgusting, you can't do that. Why would you put your dog's waste in someone else's can? She said, it is a garbage can. People put nasty things in garbage cans. That's what they're there for. He harassed her until she took it out. Is my wife, am I the asshole here? No, this person is uh, crazy. You met a crazy person whose personality is their neighborhood. You probably shouldn't do it. To, just to be clear, I, you did something that was very minor. You broke the social contract just like the slightest little bit. That's it. And then this guy said, no, no, no. It's much more important that we live in an ordered world than a comfortable world. And he decided to make his problems your problems. You did nothing wrong. This is just a, is a crazy individual. You met Batman. You did. You met, you met retired Batman. You're the asshole. I personally hate people putting their rubbish in my bin, especially dog poop. Yeah, but like, like info, fucking why? Because it's a garbage can. You're not going to eat out of there. Like, who cares? I get, like, you're not being taken advantage of. I get that it's your trash can. Like, somebody putting their garbage in my garbage bin. But, like, why would you rather... Okay, what you would rather they do is eat it. The second thing you would rather they do is they pick it up and then they fucking hold on to it until they find a trash can that's administered by the city. But unfortunately, uh, that doesn't exist in the United States of America outside of, like, four pockets of the country. So what are they supposed to do with it? Put it in a hotel garbage can or something? Like, I, I just... I, Go buy their own house and then their property taxes can pay for the garbage can that then puts it... Like, it's, it's garbage. Like, I would be pissed off if I wheeled my garbage out to the end of the road and then, like, somebody threw two bags of garbage on top of my garbage and then the garbage truck was like, hey, asshole, you got too much garbage. I'd be like, that's not my garbage. I put out the civic responsible amount of garbage and now I'm being... Somebody made a, a, a faux pas and I'm catching flack for it. But if someone just throws a little bit of dog poo in a bag in your garbage, who cares? Third comment is why. Honestly, the big reason it gets to me is it makes the cans we have in my city reek. They're thick plastic with heavy lids, so they just cook in the sun and that dog poop garbage combo becomes Satan's potpourri very quickly. The garbage can stinks. Welcome to Earth. Oh, the shit that already smelled horrible smells like a little worse. It's this, like, <laughs> it's not like it was pleasant before and you're like, something in here stinks. You're like, it's always, it always stinks. It's a fucking trash can. It's where you put the shit that smells bad. Soft, you're the asshole. I have a dog too, so I get it. I don't want to carry around his poop. It's fine to throw poop in public dumpsters and trash cans. It's rude to throw it away in someone's personal bin. This is true, but I don't know why. Like, for some reason, it's okay. It, a lot of people would consider it, like, more acceptable to throw it in the dumpster behind, like, a Starbucks than they would to throw it in a, a closed trash bin at somebody's house, even though it's stinking it up either way. Like, I just don't... I'm not saying, like, I'm, I'm going to stand for Starbucks. I'm like, it's just one of those things where I'm like, it's the, if 
feels like it's the same crime. Like you need to, if you need to throw it out in a garbage bin that's like under your own administration or under the city's administration, then. And so many, you're right. So many people don't even pick it up, man. So I know there's some of you out here too. Where your dog poops on the sidewalk you clean it up and you're like, I'm a good person. Then your dog poops on the fucking grass and you're like, I don't need to pick that up. That's grass. The grass will take care of it. Yeah, in like fucking six weeks when my daughter is like, I want to go run around on that grass because it's a fucking park. And then I'm like, okay, I'll follow you. And I step and it's then I'm like, what's that horrible smell? Oh, it's a liter of dog shit that somebody just didn't pick up because they were too busy FaceTiming fucking nobody about nothing taking their ignored dog out for a walk. Shit drives me crazy. Hey, it's the Wessel Pigeon. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. You didn't notice till... Well, no, there's this two different stories. So one time I didn't notice until I got home. And Kate said, it smells bad. And I said, oh no, I think I smelled in, I stepped in dog poop. Then like maybe six weeks ago, my daughter was running around in a little yard in front of her daycare. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll chase you. And then like halfway to my car, I was like, I think I stepped in dog poop. And I looked in my, uh, my boot and yes, I did. So they just let their, their dog poop there and then fucking went wild. It's not a victimless crime. It is a, that is a very victim-full crime, but there's no way to run like a DNA test or something. It is disgusting. You should not touch grass. Well, the Blundstones are fine, though, because they got that hard, you know, rubber sole. There are dog DNA tests. Yeah, but I'm going to get the dog's DNA, but how am I going to match it? It's not like there's a central repository. <laughs> okay, great great news. We got the DNA results of that dog poop. Okay, it's A-A-T-T-C-A-G-A-C-C-T-T-G-G-A-C-T-T-T-G-C-D-C. <laughs> My ass is going to be like, hey, yeah, okay, I know that dog. I fucking know that dog. You think I don't know those codons? Curly hair, mottled fur. Same Z, soft, you're the asshole. You and I signed up for dealing with dog poop, but our neighbors didn't. They shouldn't have to deal with it on their property. Yeah, but they shouldn't know that it happened on their property, is the other thing. Like, they shouldn't have, a, like, a ring camera on their garbage can or something. I would be a little... Like, listen, if I had trash cans at the end of my driveway and I was looking out the window and I saw someone lift up the lid and throw in a little dog poop, I would be like, hey, Kate, you won't believe what this asshole did. Threw out dog poop in our own trash can. And then she would go like, huh, shouldn't do that. And I would be like, that's what I'm saying. And then I would go on with the rest of my day. It's like you shouldn't do it, but also like I got other stuff going on like this. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Why, why care about it? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I would take it out and move it to my neighbor's trash can. Now we're talking. You're the asshole. I've thrown dogs of bags of dog poop into my own bin and sometimes they break due to being pressed against something else in the bin when that happens you get dog poo smeared inside your bin that will stink and has to be washed maybe i'm just a degenerate i don't think i would wash that i think my ass would be like it's trash a little bit of dog poop in the trash can what am i worried is going to get the trash dirty <laughs> Is the smell? Yeah, but like, I mean, where are you keeping them? Is it like a, if they're if you're cold, they're cold. If you keep it in the garage, you'd wash it. Why? So my car doesn't smell the garbage cans? I don't understand the problem. Yeah, 
It's in your house? I don't consider the garage in my house. Like, like a yard, it's part of my house. It's not in my house, though. It's in my house when it has either carpet or hardwood or, or tile. Concrete floor is not inside. Smell attracts more flies. Bro, you got a lid. You got a lid on the trash can. You're not piping it straight into like the air intake. This is madness. It's not airtight. I think it's good enough, honestly. It doesn't bother me. I, don't, I live in the city. It smells all the time. It just smells. <laughs> it's not a big of a deal. <laughs> you go nose blind. I'd be happy it was dog poop, honestly, with, with my experience living in the city. I'd be like, holy cow. That dog has a great diet. That dog has an all raw food, fresh refrigerated meat diet. Good for them. This the shit doesn't look like an enormous brown Hawkins cheesy with like all the water leached out of it. It's the size of my forearm. Stop, stop. You guys are so weird about poop. People are like, yeah, but the poop smells. Duh. That's why I try to get it out of my ass and into the toilet as soon as possible. I don't want it to stink up my insides. Not the asshole. Personally, I couldn't care less if someone sticks their dog poop in my trash can that is out by the road in front of my house. I pay the city to use the city trash can. Everyone in my city does. It's not mine. I think it's a different story if you walk straight onto the property to dispose of the dog poop, but the way I see it, if it's by the road, go ahead and put the dog's poop there. This shit is like, like British laws in the 1700s. It's like, well, your honor, the trash can was by the road. Oh, it's by... How close... Would you say it was past the end of the driveway... Or would you say that it was butting up adjacent to the edge of the curb of the driveway? Well, is, does the curb belong to the city or does the curb belong to the homeowner? It's like, why don't you just tell me the name of the movie you wanted to see? I don't think this is like a big deal. That's my two cents. I mean, I think everyone, even people who disagree with me on the verdict would say it's not a big deal. It's not like a capital crime, but it's, I think it's a nothing burger. That's my, that's my opinion. I the asshole for calling my girlfriend cheap. Not necessarily. I mean, I would take it as a compliment. But I gotta, just listen, Okay. My GF makes six figures as a pharmacist and is still the cheapest person I know. She recently bought a new Toyota RAV4 and wanted the bars above to mount her skis. No, she is not the cheapest person. Like, she bought a new car and she skis. That's an expensive purchase and an expensive hobby. Like, that's... It Im immediately undermines your, your sentiment here to begin with. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> and that's an SUV! They quoted her at 2K. She decided not to get it, even though she really wanted it. She spent about four months drooling over a handbag that cost 600 bucks. She uses a tattered bag from college and says she needs one, but can't bring herself to buy one. I bought it for her for her Christmas gift, and when I gave it to her, she got mad at me for wasting my money. She did apologize after saying she loves it, but $600 is too much to spend on a bag. Okay, it sounds like that's a non-issue, so I'm not even sure why that's involved. She gave you an, the easiest Christmas gift of all time and liked it. Okay, congratulations. Why are you turning this into a problem? She never wants to eat out, like, at all. I usually eat out two to three times a week, but it's hard to get her to eat out even once a month. She always says she can make the same thing for cheaper and will only eat out after some pleading from me. She doesn't tip very high either, only 15% usually. Is this, this is bait, right? If you want to get Reddit upset, you just bring up tipping. Either way, 15% is like the worst number you could bring up. Because half of people are like, you should leave zero. And half of people are like, 15%? What did they spit on your plate? 
She only drives when there are a few things to do. For example, for her to come over, she also drops off mail, buys things, goes to the gym on the same trip to save on gas. I'm sure it's eco-friendly. You, if this, if this is real, you just hate your girlfriend. Like, she's just... These are not necessarily, like, crazy behaviors. Like, it's not like she's hanging up her tea bags on the clothesline to reuse them or something like that. It's like, it's just fairly reasonable, like, cost savings to make without impacting your quality of life very much. Like, that's not that crazy. She's just a normal person. She won't ever buy coffee and even brings her own coffee maker kit rather than buy coffee for road trips. And she won't buy bread or oat milk. She insists to make it to save money even though it takes so long. She only buys things on sale, blah, blah, blah. She refused to buy things in Ikea. Okay, now that's crazy because Ikea is like really cheap. That's like one of the cheapest furniture stores you could go to. She's, I'm starting to see his point, honestly. <laughs> Not as cheap as other places. It's, it's pretty cheap, though. It's super expensive. It's, like, super not, though. My bookshelf was, like, 60 bucks. It's a piece of garbage. Like, you would never... <laughs> you would never be like, whoa, check out this bookcase. You won't believe where I got it. You're like... You know, it's more like, that's where my books go. But it's pretty cheap. Ikea is expensive? Is this like a regional thing? We, our last bed, not the bed we use now, we bought a bed from Ikea. It was a double bed. It cost $200. That's something you literally use for like a third of your life. It costs half of what like a PS4 cost at the time. I've seen tables for $2,000 in Ikea. Yeah, but you've probably also seen tables for like 70 bucks. And they'll tell you which one they're moving more of. They also have like a $1.79 breakfast. I'm just throwing... <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to say anything socially by saying this. I'm just saying... Ikea prices have gone up 30% thanks to lumber. Lumber round trip, motherfucker. You think I don't listen to Odd Lots with Joe Weisenthal and Tracy Alloway? Try serving me. So, oh, this costs more because of the lumber. The lumber went up and it came right back down. Because of the lumber. Good for the tuna. Anyway, this person is just crazy. Now, I will say, and, and like I, I've annoyed a certain subset of people. I'm going to annoy the other subset of people. I do also get annoyed when people treat never spending money as like that person is like more moral. Shit drives me crazy because, I mean, on the internet, at least, you know, when you're, you got the spotlight on you like I do, sometimes you're like, I went out for a sandwich yesterday. And then people are like, Go out for a sandwich. Wow, must be nice to be. You know, the price you paid for that sandwich, I could have bought uh, two loaves of bread and boar's head cold cuts and cheese and had sandwiches for a week. And then someone else is like, oh, bread from the supermarket. Must be nice to be uh, in the upper middle class. I could have bought four kilograms of baking flour and used that to make 17 loaves of bread at my own house and then stolen a chicken from a farm and use that to make an egg every single day and I could have eaten sandwiches for three weeks. Like the idea that spending money is always immoral and then like saving money is always moral. I, I think that there's some kind of like conditioning there that has led society down a, a, a what I would consider a, 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 a path that is not necessarily accurate because I deal with it with my parents. Like Anytime my parents come out for dinner with us, my dad will say something like, holy cow, like $26 for spaghetti? And I'm like, just, I know you can make it at home for like, listen, they always say crazy stuff too. Like I can make it at home just as good for half the price. And I'm like, no, you can't. 
you could probably make it pretty good, but there's like eight bucks worth of butter. You would never do that to yourself. You, you care about your cardiac health. You can make good spaghetti. You're not making it this good. I'm sorry. They, they're making this spaghetti 20 times an hour. They know what they're doing, okay? I've had your spaghetti. I've had their spaghetti. Their spaghetti wins out. You can't compete with the pros. Nobody looks at, like, uh, they, they don't get arthroscopic surgery and go, like, wow, I could probably do this for 450 you know? But then the chefs, they're always, like, they, people always look at it exclusively in terms of ingredient costs. They don't consider it, like, an art. Like, if you go to Subway and you're like, I can make this sandwich cheaper, you're like, yeah, no shit. It's just, like, literally all they're doing is doing what you tell them. Of course, you, you, got, you get it for convenience. But if you go to, like, a real restaurant and you're like, I could get this shit cheaper, okay, then fucking go to Le Cordon Bleu Institute of Culinary Education. Go to the American Culinary Institute. F fucking waste your 20s. Going up to, going to the restaurant at 7 a.m., leaving the restaurant at midnight, smoking 400 cigarettes a day to learn how to make, a, you know, a burr blanc. It's just insulting to say you can make this cheaper at all. Anyway, all I'm saying is... It's not immoral to spend money, and it's not moral to save money. It's, it depends on your lifestyle. It depends on what, you're, what you value. Anyway, that guy's just crazy. I don't know if I could even read this one. Am I the asshole for not helping my girlfriend when she sprained her ankle? Throwaway account. <laughs> Me when the API stops responding. Oh, throwaway account. Not using real names, but my Fred, 34 male, GF, will call her Maranda, 33 female. In my opinion, overreacts to pain. She stubs her toe a lot and is always saying how it hurts. She doesn't ask for help when it happens. It just annoys because she stubbed her toe, dummy. What is she going to do? <laughs> You're going to fix it? You're going to cast like a magical spell? It always annoys me because she's clumsy and could just watch where she's going. Anyway, we were outside one night. I have this makeshift step that's, step that's pretty flimsy. It's a piece of firewood that's there until I can get something better. This is a classic, like, men will actually live like this and think it's okay post. I got a makeshift step. It's just a piece of firewood or whatever. It's, not, it's, a, it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. It's a jigsaw trap. It's a suicide trap. You gotta get out while you're young. She, okay, hold on. Miranda used it and rolled and it caused her an ankle to sprain. She fell to the ground and said it really hurt and it looked like she was about to cry. I told her she'd be fine. Even when she crawled past me to, this is fake. Even when she crawled past me to get inside, I did not help because I felt like she was over-exaggerating the pain. Well, the next day I really looked at it and I do admit it's bad. She can't put any pressure on it. She told me it was really mean that I didn't believe her or help her in the moment, and she left to go to her parents' house. Hasn't been back since, saying she needs time to think. Now her parents are mad at me and our friends and also think that I'm the asshole, but I don't see it that way. My sister told me to post here and see what others would say. So Reddit, am I the asshole? You know that John Holmes? Uh, it's John Waters, not John Holmes. A uh, quote that's like, ladies, if you go to a man's house and he doesn't have books, don't burp him. I feel like this is the same thing, but it should be, uh, ladies, if you go to a man's house and his front steps are made of makeshift firewood that's not even like secured in place, run! Like, you know, Samantha Morton at the near the end of uh, Minority Report. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Only dads. Eh? Eh? Put it all on green. Hello, Daniel Raiders. What do you think? Uh, by the way, do you think you'd be the asshole if your wife sprained her ankle on your horrendous homemade front step made of firewood? 
and then you said, oh, quit complaining, and she had to crawl past you to get into the house? You think that would make you the asshole? I don't want to be too controversial. I'd say that probably reflects a little poorly on the man's character. <laughs> Not the asshole, his step, his rules. Well, fair enough. Not the asshole for telling my sister her baby name is frickin' stupid. Hold on. Let me see the name. Just give me a second. The name is Mary. That is not... That's like a pretty normal... What do you mean it's fucking stupid? Mary is just like a, a normal name. Maybe not as common as it used to be. <laughs> I was assuming it would be you know, like Daenerys or something, but... I'm just, look, I'm scrolling for the perfect one to send us. Am I the asshole for stopping my husband from traveling? It's been a very pro-wife uh, stream so far. We've had a lot of am I the asshole sections that were like, women be shopping. Today, the, the men have been in the wrong, like almost exclusively. It's a much more comfortable place to be as a streamer than being like, well... I get that she's pregnant, but at the same time, did she have to call the cops? It's just like, I think he's in the wrong, but did she have to call the police? Just easier to be like, wow, this dude's an idiot, lol. <laughs> Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. And I love it. For context. My husband loves to travel, sometimes even does it solo. We went together in some countries, and it was fun being with him doing so. But I gotten pregnant over the pandemic, so we sat down to talk about this because it was an accident. I've always wanted a baby anyways, just not this soon, and my husband's reaction was expectedly caught off guard and had mixed emotions. We both took it as a sign and want to keep the baby, but my husband says he still wants to travel and asked if I'm okay with it. My parents said they wanted to have a grandchild anyways and wanted it so bad they even said they would watch him while we go out and have fun before I was even pregnant, so I knew my baby would be in good hands if we still travel, so I said yes. We decided to go through this pregnancy. Okay, I mean, I think... It's a bit of a red flag when you tell your husband you're pregnant and he says, I still want to travel. That's not what you want to hear as like the first thing to come out of that discussion, I think. Also, like this is it's a little parent posting, okay? But like it's naive to think that, oh, we can still travel because my parents can watch the baby. Like, what are you going to do? The first year is, like, fucked up. I'm not saying, like, that it is good that there's someone to watch the baby. What I'm trying to say instead is you need to be there for the baby. Like, literally, you're, uh, like, nursing or pumping or bonding or, like, you know, so on and so forth. You can't just be like, you know, Bye! We're going to Cabo San Lucas, you know, like you gotta, you can't really just put, put it in with the babysitter. Like when you're older or when the baby's older, if your kid's like, you know, 12, leave the kid with the grandkids over one month of summer vacation and go, go travel or something. They'll be fine. Kid with the grand well, grandparent, you know what I mean. Yeah, you just gotta kind of eat it for like a few years. I feel at least. I know it's less like oh we can't travel because of the kid. It's much more like oh I don't want to travel because I would be like a piece of like I don't think going away now and then makes you like a bad parent. But if you're like oh I gotta just fucking kids eating into my travel time, then I think it makes you like a bad parent. 
You got to be there for your child on top of, uh, you know, doing the things that need to be done. You need to like build the, the familial bond. The kid needs you. They, they, they don't have any choice in the matter. Like you got to, you got to make the decision for both of you. Anyway, fast forward to now. Our baby's eight months old. My husband's an incredible father. He hasn't been anywhere since the baby was born, but he did occasionally talk about where to go next to travel. I honestly thought at this point he should just stay home and be a father because he's a parent now. He still shouldn't, he shouldn't be gone even for a day away from our baby. I told him this. He got a bit upset. He wanted to think things through and so asked for a little mental space not to talk about the subject. But then literally the next day, his college friend contacted him and invited him to a wedding in Taiwan. He told me this and said his friend was the one who helped him go through a lot in his college years and at least give him four or five days to visit there. I still said no because things changed. My husband explained and said that I broke the promise I made when I was pregnant. Okay. Things change, brother. I'm, I actually think he's in the right, but I don't know. If the, let me know how that works out for you. He kept telling me to give the baby to my parents to watch. I said we wouldn't be responsible parents if we did that. He kept claiming it's responsible It's responsible because we know the baby will be safe, but I kept arguing that it doesn't work that way. I can take him to court if he wants to abandon the baby. He broke his game system out of anger. Sorry, I need to scroll. He broke his game system out of anger and has gotten silent afterwards. His only communicated, he only communicated about baby-related things but wouldn't talk to me about anything else. Am I, am I the asshole? Bro, you... This chick made him break his PS5. Are you serious right now? There's a supply chain crunch. No, no, no. Don't do me or the PS5. I think she should just eat this one. I'm sorry to say. I do think it's a little early. Like in the first eight months to be like, I would like to leave for five days. That seems kind of crazy to me. But like a four to five day trip to go to your friend's wedding, that seems fair to me as someone who just went through six days of it with a child when the daycare was closed. And also I had norovirus, like I lived. It's not that big of a deal. I didn't almost die. I said I lived. There's two different things. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I think she kind of, she crossed the line. Like he wanted to, he's like, I'm going to go to my friend's wedding for four days. She said, no. He said, I'd really like to. She said, I could take you to court for, which I don't even think is true. Like, no disrespect. I'm not trying to call your bluff and make you feel bad. But if you can't do four days of, like, solo baby care, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. If you can't do four days of solo baby care, you're not going to contact a lawyer, drag this guy to court for, for what? Because he went on a vacation for four days? I mean, like, it's just not reasonable. That's way more work. That's like, oh, if you leave me this much work, then I'm going to do three times as much work as that over the course. I'm going to sustain this grudge for the... 18 months it takes to get this in front of a judge. Like, that's just... That's just not unlikely to happen, I would say. He shouldn't break his PS5. I mean, that's like a that's juvenile behavior, but... I, think, I, don't, I don't think he's the asshole. I think she's... Well, I don't know. He shouldn't have broken his console. <laughs> There's kids out there that would that would love to have that, man. Well, wait, was it? Yeah, if it was like a Wii U, then I guess I would allow it. But I could, at the same time, I can also understand, like, your baby's only eight months old as your first kid. To be like, you know, I'd like to go to Taiwan. I, th I feel like if I brought that up to Kate in... May 2021, she would have laughed in my face. And I would have been like, just kidding. Unless you're going to do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's pretty early. In lockdown? I don't know. Fucking, are we still in lockdown? I never know these days. <laughs> No, kind of, I don't know. We're fine now. 
I don't know, when we went to San Diego, they were like, if you fly from a Canadian airport and land in the United States and you're not fully vaccinated, you have to sign like an affidavit that says you're going to uh, quarantine for two weeks, which is like, first off, was not for me. It was for my child who at the time had only had the one dose that was offered to them but they need two doses in order to be considered fully fucking vaccinated. And I was also like, excuse me, can you give me President Joe fucking Biden on the phone? He's a dude who did, did a press release that said, we beat COVID. Meanwhile, his ass is like, oh, don't let in the Canadians. Hey, the Canadians have to self-isolate if they come to fucking Florida. I know San Diego's in California. I wanted to pick a state that made my point better. I'm sorry. But like fucking look in the mirror, idiot. <laughs> They're like, only domestic COVID is okay, all right? We don't want any Canadian COVID here. And then it was, it was worse because we were like calling the airlines. Like, hey, this is Alaska Air. And I'd be like, hey, so I just read online that according to the CDC, there's like a binding resolution that if you fly from Canada into the United States... Uh, we have to sign an affidavit that we're going to stay in our uh, hotel room for two weeks to quarantine. Is that true? And then they would go, no, nah, we don't have anything like that. And I'd go, well, according to the CDC.gov, we could go to prison if we uh, make a false statement under oath and then go out and get some coffee. And they were like, yeah, I don't really know about it. We don't really care about that anymore. We don't have any restrictions. And I was like, okay, well, thanks for your help. Really appreciate it. Anyway, listen... <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm talking, I'm putting my own dirty laundry out there right now. They were basically like, you would be fine. I'm not insulting Alaska Airlines. I'm insulting their staff, okay? The planes are immaculate. I love those twin turbo props. The planes are innocent. Hold on, I'm just trying to see. <laughs> You're the asshole. Okay, there's, I, mean, I don't know. It seems like people, they're kind of being ruder to her than I would feel comfortable being. She's going through a lot right now. At the same time, she did make him break his PS5. I'm picking on this one because this post basically says, am I the asshole for hating my wife? And But then they're not the asshole. So I got to know. I gotta know. Am I the asshole for following my wife's request at letting her fail and a problem bite her in the ass? I try and protect her from harsh realities or things that will turn out badly. Sometimes they're big things, sometimes they're little things. Slow down, you're going too fast. No, I'm not. I drive here all the time. Stop telling me what to do. Speed trap, speeding ticket in the mail. Owned. Thank you for your service, officer. Giving my wife a speeding ticket. Winning me the argument. Don't buy that drink. You won't like it. I'ma buy it. Gross, it's pineapple. I hate pineapple. There goes $20 kind of things. I'm going to buy it. It's so good. Oh, man. She's insistent I let her fail so she learns a lesson and stop protecting her from it. I do because I love her, not to shelter her or keep her in a box. She gets so upset when she fails, like emo teenager, curl up in a ball and sulk in the darkness vibes. And it's really hard for me to just let it happen and fight trying to rescue her. So these holidays, I let her fail. She pays the utilities for the house. She left out a lot of lights on, including the tree around the clock. I do what I can to negate it, but never said anything. I didn't purposely run around and burn electricity to prove a point. I just didn't fuss about it. When lights TV are on in a room and no one was in all the time, I'd simply turn things off and not say anything. She just got the bill and is flabbergasted at how expensive it was. I told her I wasn't surprised because of all the electricity we used in December. Now she's mad at me for not being sympathetic of the bill she has to pay? Am I the asshole for letting this happen and not being sympathetic? Oh, oh, he wrote it twice. Okay. TLDR, my wife pays the utilities and, I, and left lights on all the time in December and got the bill and is surprised at how much it is and I wasn't being sympathetic towards her. Sorry if it comes across as condescending. It's not my intention. The bill wasn't exponentially higher. It's just like 80 bucks higher. I generally pay around 80. See, this is what it's like to be a man when you make an Am I the Asshole post. Immediately, if the roles were reversed, people would be like, 
let, let him, he needs to learn that he's not mommy's special boy. Let him suffer the consequences of his actions. I guarantee the reason he's making this one is someone probably posted info. How exactly, give me a, a, an itemized double line ledger breakdown of the bills in your house. Because if she's paying the utilities, it sounds like that you're probably a bad husband and think that she should pay for everything. Now he's got to come in here and justify himself. I got to pay, I pay 85% of the bills. She chose what she was able to afford and handle as she insisted she help out with the bills. Utilities are her responsibility by her choosing. I didn't just assign them to her. It's not a punishment for her behavior. It's her first time paying actual bills besides her car. There's no parental child kink here, just a difference in personalities. You don't need to, resp you're not beholden to respond to every insane person that talks to you. You, you, you smart enough guy to look at the message that would suggest that and just go block like that's someone asked you you as the op you are the satellite dish that collects and i say this as a streamer i see more insanity than you i'm sorry i know you see crazy stuff on twitter but like just by virtue of the fact that thousands of people interface with this i become like a conduit for collecting insanity now, I let some of that insanity go out into the signal, and it always feels good at the time and regrettable later, but I'm just fucking absorbing like 99% of it, like, ah! And that's my responsibility. When you're the OP, it's that in a microcosm. People can type anything they want. You don't have to respond to it just because they asked. You can say, hey, loser, get out of my thread. Sometimes you're going to feel the need, because when someone says something truly crazy, that's really easy to refute, it feels great to be like, first off, you're crazy. Secondly, it doesn't even make any sense. So I can understand the temptation to reply, but regardless. Am I crazy for saying who cares is $80? Like, at first I was wondering what... Uh, like how expensive electricity is. Because like our electricity plus water bill is like the same price year round. It's like the heat and the air conditioning cost the same amount, I guess. Maybe it's a little cheaper in the fall, a little cheaper in the spring. But it's like it's about 120 bucks a month times 12 months. I will say we lived in a shithole in college our utility bill was like in a seven bedroom house. It was like a hundred bucks per month per person in the winter to heat it. Probably because the insulation was put in the house in like 1931 or something like that. That shit was leaky as hell. The landlords don't care. They're just charging you like 600 bucks a month rent per room times seven people for like a house that should probably be condemned. <laughs> Corn in the walls. <laughs> right, it got me. That got me laughing. Corn in the walls. Corn in the walls, corn in the walls. This just doesn't seem like that big of a, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. It seems like you hate your, your wife or your girlfriend. Does she really talk like that? Does she really say, I'm a buy it? Or is that just something you wanted to make her appear stupid? to make your point stronger. So you wrote it in all caps. I'm a buy it. Gross is pineapple. I hate pineapple. There goes $20. What drink was she buying? Pineapple juice for 20 bucks? Shopping at Whole Foods. She's like as dumb as I am. Not the asshole. She wanted to fuck around and she found out. Me when the electricity bill is $80 higher than it normally is. Fuck around, find out. Well, just the most re overused reaction image of uh, 2022 and 2023 so far is the, the, the guy with the whiteboard. Hold on, we could do it. It's, it's mirrored. I can't... Me, when I'm like, oh, I haven't eaten in six hours and I'm hungry. A thousand people replying with fuck around, find out reaction image gif. Yay! No, not the asshole. He fucked around and found out.
not the asshole. Well, I don't think that he's the asshole. I'm mostly just like, I don't know. I just, why are people so giddy taking pleasure in this? Also, can I tell you another overused phrase? And normally I'm not hip with the, with the culture, but I respect it. When people say no cap, when people drop the gritty, when people do stuff like that, I say it's kids being kids. I don't get annoyed. I don't get annoyed at the younger generation. You know what has been annoying me a lot? People tweeting insane shit like eating lunch right now and then putting hashtag IYKYK. If you know, you know. If I know, you're not that interesting. Yes, I know about lunch. Do I know about lunch? I don't know. Eating lunch right now. If you know, you know. I hate that shit. Mm, I'm getting real busy replying to emails. If you know, you know. I don't know any, what do you, that you're supposed to tell me. That's the first step of social media is you're supposed to tell me something and then I react to it. It's not, why are we leaving out all these, this breadcrumb trail? It sounds like you don't know. You know what, Jerry? Not only do I not know, I don't want to know. You don't want to know. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bonked his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed! How do you think the doctor felt when she called him four more times? You guys, we are the worst mother of it! Baby's favorite bit. <laughs> can't tell if the wife has the naivete or competence of a child or if OP has such an infantilized view of her we can't get an accurate idea of what's going on yeah okay fair enough info why did you marry a woman who you're treating like a child oh here we go he's almost 40 and very educated apparently you're the reason that the husband stitch exists you're the reason that uh Heteronormative primogenitor was the dominant form of monarchical inheritance in the medieval era in Western Europe. Bro, he was negative 700. Chill out. He's literally just a guy, okay? He's just, like the, the one we had earlier, he's just an idiot. He's not responsible for all idiots everywhere just because he shares a similar mistake. <laughs> And let me guess, she's 23. Let me make up a completely fabricated story. I couldn't find an answer, but that's the scenario I'm picturing. Then you're fucking crazy, idiot. Then you're insane. Hmm, I couldn't find this information. This is information wasn't provided, so I'm just going to assume it was the worst it could possibly be. Because how do you not know how to manage your utilities after 20 years of living on your own? Unless they raise the rates on you, or you move to a bigger living space and aren't used to it. It's just like... People just make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes people take a big dookie, forget, the, forget to flush the toilet. It happens. OP is very educated and can't help it. He sounds so smart. I mean, most of the time, I, I deal with this to like a much smaller extent. Sometimes I'll be doing something stupid. And then my wife will be like, why are you doing that? It's stupid. And then like, I would say about half the time, I go, you're right, this is dumb. And the other half of the time, I'm like offended that she's right. And I'm like, even if it is stupid, you should just let me be stupid and make a mistake. You should just let me get into a car accident instead so I actually learn my lesson. And then like a minute later, I'm like, no, you're right, it's stupid. So I get it, like, you know, I get not wanting to be told what to do all the time when you're an adult. Doesn't mean that anyone's wrong in this situation, it just means... It would be annoying to be outside and be like, I want to drink this pineapple juice. And then someone goes, you don't drink that pineapple juice. You don't like pineapple. And then uh, I'm like, well, you, I'm 25 years old. You think I can't even figure out what drink I want? I'm going to drink it. And then I buy it and go, I hate pineapple. 